Well, March is colorectal cancer awareness month and one of the most disturbing trends is the increase in younger people that are actually being diagnosed. Yeah, there's some new research on this showing that young colorectal cancer deaths seem to be more prevalent in certain parts of the country, including ours. Our Dr. Frank McGeorge is here with more on these concerning findings, Doc. They are concerning, Pam and Karen. You know, experts don't yet know why we're seeing such a dramatic increase in cases of colon cancer under age 50. But there may be a clue in discovering where it's happening, and that's exactly what this new study reveals. This new epidemic we're seeing of colorectal cancer among young people has variation across regions of the United States. It is not, it's not even across all of the U.S. Blake Buckalter is the lead author for the Cleveland Clinic study. Using CDC data, the team identified hotspots for colorectal cancer deaths in those age 34 and under. Among the youngest patients, we found notable hotspots in the Midwest and also the Great Lakes region. The team also found three significant cold spots in the Southwest, California, and Mountain West. Now, currently, it's not clear why young onset colorectal deaths seem to be more common in certain regions. This indicated to us um, that there are those underlying regional differences like demographics or other exposures or obesity that might be driving these regional patterns we're seeing. So I think that's the big takeaway is that, you know, there is regional variation. This needs to be looked at further. That's something Buckalter says they plan to investigate next. Rates of young onset colorectal cancer incidence and mortality uh, have been rising rapidly since the mid 90s with really unknown patterns and also unknown causes. This study was trying to tease out what the what the actual uh, geographic regions of the of disparity actually look like for young onset colorectal cancer mortality. And then we're trying to figure out what's causing that going forward. Finding those causes likely the best chance at reversing this disturbing trend. Now, the bottom line, if you're experiencing any symptoms of colorectal cancer, regardless of your age, it's really critical to get checked out right away. Now, those symptoms can include any change in bathroom habits, blood in your stool, diarrhea, constipation, abdominal pain or cramps, and unexplained weight loss. And if you're 45 and older, you need to get a colonoscopy. And Doc, given this finding, is there anything that young people can do here in the Great Lakes region to reduce their risk? Well, you know, one thing that all of us can do is just to improve our lifestyle. We know that being overweight or obese can raise your risk. So can a lack of exercise, smoking, drinking too much alcohol, and not eating enough fruits and vegetables or eating enough fruit or fiber. Eating too much processed meat also contributes. Frankly, we don't need any more research to know that a healthy lifestyle is beneficial for colorectal cancer and frankly, countless other diseases too. So a lot of it is getting back to some basics. Start on that foundation. Mm -hmm. right. Thanks, Doc. Thank sure. you.